Okay, we continue. Now we need to get some metal bars. Alexander Winston. Or was it Winton? Invented the semi trailer. Cool guy. Oh, uh, yeah, we have the advanced medium winch on this bad boy. Right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we will buy the trailer. I don't need a map. We'll buy the trailer from uh, next to where I'm gonna get the metal. No point in buying it now and then hauling it all the way over for what? For what purpose? You know, there is no there is no purpose to it. So, we'll be smart. This trailer, this is trailer high, isn't it? Otherwise, it is a sad saddle high. You know what I mean? Saddle low. Honestly. Here's how smart I am. I refuse. I refuse to purchase it. Oh, then you might be thinking like, oh, well, if you're not going to purchase it, how are you going to get the, the trailer required? Here's how I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it from the damn port. That's right. We left one at the port. Now, is it actually long enough to support two of them? I don't know. If it is not, well, we'll sell it. We gotta sell it anyway, right? Whatever the case may be, I would like to uh, get it done. Get rid of one more trailer. Because, I mean, we're gonna do it eventually, right? It, it's gonna happen. Like, we know this. It is known that eventually we will have to take out the time and you know get these trailers out of there because because we need the money very simply these upgrades are getting kind of expensive there are some more vehicles i want to buy Who knows what's going to happen in alaska is going to cause me to spend even more money whatever the case may be we did not come to this place to help people only i mean we did come here to help people right so the blood or whatever but uh, we are also here to profit So, you know, how are we going to profit if I don't sell all the trailers away? I'm not. That is, that is not acceptable to me. In my eyes. I need the profits. You know, I'm not, it's not a charity. Now, this does mean I'm going to be driving the entire route again. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? You have to do it at some point. Might as well do it right now. It's the long route, it's the problem, you know, if only it was not so long, I would be a lot happier to, uh, to do this, it is that long, it is very long, like insanely so. Okay, we give it a very gentle tap, so it doesn't destroy my engine. Keep rolling. We'll refuel and repair at the trailer stop there. We are near the border. Then we'll cross the border and uh, grab the trailer. It might not be correct, in which case I'll grab it, bring it back, sell it, and then buy another one. But I, I'm hoping that it will be good enough. Now this is one of the trailers that we had gotten, the last actually cargo trailer that was in Island Lake, if I, if I remember correctly. So, you know, Island Lake, pretty, pretty cool place. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. No garage, which is annoying, but you know, they at least have a trailer stuff. That's good. Island, uh, uh, sorry, Island Lake, yeah. The Dumbed Island, that's garbage. No garage, no trailer stuff. Okay, like, like that, that, then you just keep. That is, that is a stupid place. 
So I don't understand why it exists. You know, it doesn't do anything. At the very least, you could at least have like a trailer stop. I mean, you know, no, you don't have a garage. I mean, the garage has a trailer stop included with it. It's kind of very helpful. But whatever, we do the trip again. It is quite a long trip. Don't get it twisted. It takes a while to get where we're going. We will make it though. We'll struggle to we'll make it. The bridge should be coming up on the next side of this, the wooden bridge. No, no, after, after that turning, okay. Still a little bit more. Go here, then we turn again. Then on, okay, a little bit, this is still a turn. On this straight line, the, the wooden bridge should be coming, which should mark the, the near of the end of It is not the end. You know what? We can get off the bridge. If you hate the bridge so much, get off the damn bridge. Go around. That's right. I don't care. You think I care, but I don't. Okay. We are nearing it and we are nearing the warehouse. So if I wanted to abandon, I could just buy a large uh, trailer and just get to work. I will then be abandoning Dumbled Island's trailers and basically just leaving money on the table. I'm not going to do that. I bet your ass I'm not going to do that. Because who knows, I mean Alaska might have like no trailers for me and I might have to source everything by myself in which case I will need the extra money plus I mean I had to buy snow tires for all my vehicles when I go to Alaska you know it's it's all it's all iced up you don't like that I don't like ice a lot okay so here we are at the trailer stop. Get a quick little maintenance trailer for ourselves. Refuel. Repair. Sell it and move on. Our, basically get our vehicle service and refueled here for free if you have the money it's free if you don't have the initial money then it's not free if then you can't purchase it which means obviously you can't sell it if you can't purchase it that's, that's kind of like the bad thing about commerce you know if you want to sell something you gotta have it first if you sell something you don't have well I believe that's called fraud Truckers pay about 30 though. Okay, I mean, you see how fast this freaking thing loads? You seeing this? It's crazy, right? It's good. You don't want to wait. That's big enough. That'll, that'll do, man. That'll do just fine. Okay. I could just pop in and sell some of these as well. There's two here. Like kind another of three here. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's gonna We're gonna need like a solid day. When we are like, okay, it's time for cleanup. 
and all we will do that day come over here and sell trailers that's it we'll do what we just did takes 10 minutes then we'll start heading in grab a trailer bring it out there sell it refuel repair come back in grab a trailer you know drain and repeat until there are no more trailers remaining take a while must be done though it's not like we have an option there's no trailer store in this place and if you want to really clean this place out then we're going to need to get rid of these trailers that are just lying around can't just let them be you know somebody needs to do something about them that is where i come in Our pass turn. And anyway, this should be the last time we are visiting the port. Right? No, there's really nothing at the port anymore. The port is not even like a warehouse. It doesn't like give me stuff. You would think it would give me containers or something, but no, whatever. Maybe it does. Because only have a mission where we have to get oversized containers or whatever. Maybe that is from the port. Those and uh, frankly, it's the scary part. Who cares? No, we take our stuff, we get out of here. We don't think about it too much. We did build this bridge, the nice, stable, sturdy bridge. Now we'll just grab our trailer here. That's a that's a bunch of extra money there. That not only will I save, because I mean I wouldn't spend anything, because I would probably sell the trailer after I'm done with it, so it costs us nothing at that point. We will actually earn that much extra money, because at the end now when we sell this, we haven't bought it, it was just there. Therefore, it stonks, bro. Just make a bunch of money. A little bit of time investment. But you know, it's something we were going to do at any at some point anyway. You know, we're going to do it at some point. Might as well do it now. That's what I always say. Oh my God! Look at these giant, freaking red area symbols saying it's the border of the map. I get it, but like, I mean that. This is a very immersive game. Well, I say that. But no, it's it's got it's got its immersive elements for sure. Do I even need to reverse here? I don't think so. I think it's yeah, it's lying the at the wrong direction anyway. one of those nice trailers too it's not like a it's not like a garbage trailer you know it's a, it's a sideboard one large sideboard semi trailer should be perfect okay now give it a turn okay did not work a little bit more. There you go. You can get 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 your panties in it out of the twist. Yep, this is nothing. Except is this this is unexplored. What the hell do you mean unexplored? Did me what do you mean it's unexplored area? Don't know what's in there. That's not gonna fly. I'm gonna drive over and I'm gonna find out what's in there. 
could be a freaking vehicle just sitting there for me. Could be this is the fucking garage. What the hell you got over here? What, what's all this about then, huh? Fucking nothing? Alright, you got away this time. Oh, you're hiding something here. Could have been revealed that this is the map, it wasn't. I don't know why. Could be nothing, but I don't believe in coincidences. Probably taken out of scope when the game was being developed, but then why wouldn't they add it in a DLC? Maybe it was added in a DLC, I just don't have the DLC. I do only have the base game. Which is unfortunate. That's the one bad thing about Game Pass, honestly. Is that we don't get the full versions of games. Like, I don't like missing content, you know. I'm, as you can see, I mean, I'm gonna sell all the trailers in the principal place, clear out the maps, like I'm saying. I'm obviously a completionist. I want to get everything done. I want to see 100% completion on everything. And when I don't have everything, so it's not possible to 100% everything, I get kind of mad. Now I'm like, well, what is the point then? If I can't 100% everything, then why am I even playing? Anyway, we keep moving. Keep it moving. There you go. Well, what happened there? I was holding W the entire time. The engine just stopped working for a second. The acceleration, I had to leave W and then press up. Hello? Is my is my fucking keyboard dead? I mean, I'm holding W, I'm holding the button down. It's like, yeah, no, we'll, I don't care. In that case, I left it myself, it's just fine. The keyboard should last more than this. Now, I know I like... W is kind of like the, the button you always press. You don't really ever stop pressing W. It's, like, it's a very needed button. I was thinking I was trying to use my joystick to control the car, I cannot. My mouse has a joystick, the ROG Chakram X. I believe it's the 4. I wanna buy a new one, the damn scroll wheel doesn't work. But Shit's expensive, man. Shit is expensive. And money is at a premium. Obviously. Money is money, you know. That's the stuff we need. I would like to buy a new mouse. So, well, I mean, I would like to buy a new graphic card too, but I mean, I don't have that much money. And it, it doesn't make sense to buy it at this point. I know it's only like, what, it's March? End of March? We still have, well, what, freaking nine more months to go to the end of the year. But nine months from now, it's still a lot of time, they should be releasing the 5050 series. 5090 especially, which should be, I'm hoping either one or two things happens. Either it is a big jump in performance for about the same price, that's that's great out by it, or, it's sorry, it's, yeah, big jump in performance for about the same price, or, it is about the same performance, maybe like a small increase for a substantially lower price. At which case, I mean, obviously, are you dumb? Of course you buy that. And maybe they make like a, eh, no. I don't think they will make a Halo product. The 4090 is kind of a Halo product, right? It's kind of like the Titan. Like that, that's what you buy if you have like a lot of money. 
they've kind of made it part of their uh, like normal lineup. So yeah, they'll probably make the 5090 kind of insane as well. I'm wondering if they release like a 4090 Ti. Wouldn't that be bonkers? Here it is, like $2,500. A 4090 Ti. Maybe like barely faster than the 4090. People who are like have too much money and are dumb. The beautiful combination that these companies love. Rich and dumb. Because if it comes out, it'll come out in like the next couple of months. It has to. And then at like six months later, probably, it'll be like, well, here's the 5090. Way cheaper than that 4090 Ti and 4090 we just had. And it's probably better. But then again, for people who don't really care about the market, you know, they're like, whatever, I'll pay whatever money. I don't really, I don't know what's going on in the tech market. I just like tech. Okay, metal beams. And you can put some wood at the back if you want. Concrete blocks, you want them? Nope. Want some metal beams. Yo! Warehouse people. Why the hell are you giving me rusted ass metal beams, huh? Metal beams are rusted, bro. Look at them. They're like, they're tarnished. I don't want these. Even like fresh out of the factory metal beams. That's not gonna work, is it? Yep. Okay. Remember, you can use your gearbox. A W. Shut up, man. How the hell does this happen, man? Bro... Oh my god, I did it. Okay, now... Just, just come on out. Yep, they are more than enough space. Thank god. That was a whole thing. We gotta, we gotta learn. Big turns. It's a very big trailer. You gotta take big turns. Small turns ain't gonna cut it, man. Your ass gonna get stuck. Okay, let's do a bit of maintenance on our thing again. Back at full strength. Okay, chug on along. We have a long ways to go. And look at that, one less trailer in the trailer ecosystem. Oh, that one entire area of the map you can see is now completely cleared. We have never, we don't have to go to that bridge part ever again. You can just turn around from there and go the other way. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the stuff you need is across, uh, across the river. You know, I mean, on the other, on the other side, closer to the. Uh, 
the other tunnel that goes to Island Lake. You know, when you come to Island Lake, that that island you come on to. A lot of the surface over there, so it's gonna be a longer trip to get it back, but it should be fine. Not that bad again. And for one of them, we will need a scout to be driven over. Is is a tiny trailer. Scout trailer. So we need a scout to uh, come over and bring it back. Sell it. Or it doesn't even sell for much. Cause it's, uh, it's again, it's a scout trailer. Made for a teeny tiny scout. So. Okay, there's the bridge. Now we be careful. Here we take a big turn. Don't even think about trying to go on the bridge. Just go on the mud there. Let your trailer go on the bridge if it wants to. Trailer is not as big as the freaking massive construction rig semi trailer, but it's still pretty damn big. So we treat it with the needed respect. Okay, here we go. We're out. On pumping. Okay, remember, we have a lot of uh, extra mass. As you know, force is equal to mass into acceleration. So, because of our incredible mass, we're going to have a lot of force and for a lot of momentum. Physics, man. Never really enjoyed physics, you know. Too many formulas, honestly. Way too many formulas to remember. If they would just give me a list, of, a printed list of formulas on every single page, like here's the exam, here's the list of formulas, and I get to using them, and maybe tell me instead, oh, don't, don't try, no, it's not about remembering which formula to use, justify this formula. You know why? No, but then even that is all mathematical BS. I'm gonna remove the mathematics one, but then I guess, I, mean, I guess it's also in some ways important, right? The mathematics is important as much as I hate to admit it. Because if you want to know why you're using a certain formula, at some point, you know, you need to know how to derive that formula from whatever base formula is there. But it sucks, man. It sucks. Feels bad, man. Basically. Right. Take it nice and slow. I mean, this is the furthest thing we need right now. But the other thing we need is the the drill. The drill is right next to the garage. Right. Using the same trailer, we can just go over, grab it, take it over to the uh, drilling site, and boom, drilling can commence. Out with the old is done, and all our missions for I believe this is Dyson Diesel will be done. They are all the drilling sites are now operational. They are happy. Now like whatever husky forwarding or whatever. The other one, they, they both still have missions for me, right? One of them has like a three different big massive orders. Other one just has a bunch of lumber deliveries that need to be made. We'll need to start doing those at some point, right? That's obviously something that needs to be done. I remember our dad's the time trailer got stuck here too. This one not so much. It's not it's not so wide, you know. That one was wider than my damn truck. This one is about the same size, maybe just a pin a bit wider. Probably a lot heavier though. Definitely a lot heavier I would say. Okay. Yeah, and the road goes on for a little longer than you would expect, but mountain road I mean once we're out of the hills then you know you can stop worrying so much but right now we are in the hills so there is some need to worry still not a lot mind you but some 
There you go, back on solid ground. So I remember this freaking quarry, bro. We did some shit in that quarry. Although we did get finally all the trailers out and sold them and all. So we, that, that was good. Are you still giving me tips, man? Seriously? Do you know how much shit I have done? Do you know how many trailers I have sold? Do you think I would have I could have sold a single trailer without attaching it to myself? You can't. You literally cannot do that. You must attach it to yourself. Okay, I'll do wait over there for a second while I do some quick R and R. Alright. Cool. Repair. Then back we go. Alright. Back on the road. Up onto Elizabeth Dam. Freaking traffic lights keep messing up my camera. If you're driving like this, you would die. Don't do that. No time for jokes, man. You want really want to hit the edge of this freaking dam and fall into the water or some shit? I have to do this all over again? Yeah, no, thank you. Okay, we're gonna take a nice big turn. Okay, he's not gonna touch anything. There you go. Very nice. I think we can. No, we can definitely cannot fit a drill on this vehicle, right? The drill needs uh, three slots. This bad boy does not have three slots left, it has one slot left right now. So, whatever. Keep driving, we'll get to the farm, turn there. Then go straight in to get to the uh, lumber mill. Go around the lumber mill. Then maybe I'll need to put on the map just to check. Then I'm going the right way or not. I'm not very sure after that. We are nearing the farm though. Now with this massive trailer that we're gonna do what we did last time, actually go through the water. <coughs> While initially we were not able to go through the water, we we're getting stuck. Our current vehicle should not be that big of a deal. Well, all I'm gonna say. I mean, again, we were able to take the construction rig semi trailer. Wow. You know how easily we're pushing through? You know how hard this was the first time I came through? It was freaking impossible. It was like this. And even this, I low gear, and it's like, whatever. Was, where's the problem? And go. Pick it up. Let's move. Don't have all day. One more delivery. Though it is a shorter one, it's still still something that needs to be done. Come on, up we go. This might not be the best route. Actually, there might be like a faster route, which is also safe. I haven't found it. Honestly, I don't have the time to experiment for it. This is like some of the last times I'm going to be needing to come to these roads, so. You know? Doesn't really matter. The particulars don't really matter to me. I just need to make sure we get there. 
deliver this shit ton of metal they need. But it makes sense, they're gonna make a big ass drill, really you're gonna need a lot of metal. You know how dogs is and all that. Okay. Okay, there's the lumber yard. The lumber yard. Take the upper path. Again, it's gonna be a long road. Don't worry about the road's length. Okay, you know it's gonna be long. Our path to success is not uh, not going to be a swift one. It's not going to be a fast one. It's going to be a longer one. That's why we are here. Facilitate that. And man, that's why I'm getting paid the big bucks. How many? How much am I even getting for this mission? Probably a lot. I would hope so, considering I'm basically, well, I wouldn't say I'm single-handedly doing it, but like I'm doing like a very important part. These deliveries need to happen, and it's a very remote location. So you know, I am doing you quite a big job. It's not like you're paying for my vehicle or whatever. I'm, I'm, it's my vehicle. It's my, I mean, it's not in my stuff. That's the only big thing. The stuff belongs to you, but logistics is uh, is very important, as you know. Look at Amazon. Quite a big company, I would say. You know, Jeff Bezos, quite rich, quite quite a wealthy person. Coming through. Getting there. It's a bit mucky, but what choice do we have? We do have to do this. Don't you dare fall over now. I swear to god, I mean I remember thinking the same thing with my construction rigs I made when I came here. Okay, hello Paul. Realized I was over there in pole position. But anyway, we're closing in. About to get all the metal you need. God, it's a struggle to get these anywhere. I mean, gravity helps, but like, it also hurts. Like, right now, it's hurting. It helped me a bit when I was flying down there, but there you go, more solid ground. Okay, and now we're back on the normal path. Struggle across. There you go. Okay. 
okay I mean I didn't want to be in this muck I really want to be out here but nicer over here okay here I come bring you metal beams galore boom there it is so I put a freaking who put these two containers up there stage completed now all we need is the oil rig drill yes the drill now the drill we know comes from up there it's going to be a task let us put it that way Go all the way back. What do you get here? We get drilling spare parts. There's no mission right now that needs me to get drilling spare parts, but uh, I don't know what the future holds. Right now, we just want to do that. That's the plan. Plan action. Will we be able to successfully execute this plan? I don't know. But I am I am a hopeful person, I'm a positive person, so I'm hoping it will. We low gear when we get into trouble just to get out of it. Again, the main problem is this giant trailer behind us. Now it's got no goods on it. Which you would think make it would make it better, but I mean it really doesn't. I wouldn't say it's worse, but I mean, it does bounce around a bit more, so in that way it is worse. But right now our only objective is to get it back to where it needs to be. And that in and of itself is going to be a tough one, eh? Can you get on solid gr is there no solid ground? Excuse me, thank you. Holy crap, that's muddy as hell. This is muddy, but then we have a tire outside the mud, so... Be able to use that for traction. And as we have AWD always on, but more importantly, we have differential lock always on. One of our tires outside, it should basically force the other one to move. I don't know if that's how differential lock works, but it helps. Okay. Don't ask me how it does exactly, but it, it does. It allows me to go to places and do things that I otherwise think would not be able to do. Would have been harder to do so anyway. The deep freaking mud trenches that have been cut out of the ground is is a testament to how freaking insanely hard this area is. Well, I mean it's not really hard. It's just very muddy. It is unfortunate, but that's just how it is. And we must deal with it. That that is our role in all this. That is our place. Okay, we are nearing the farm. That's the farm, right? Now oh, that is the lumber mill. Okay, I'm very wrong. We're a bit far away still. Let's just say that. Just 
30 liters, huh? I don't know if I'll be able to get to the garage. I need to head out and grab the trailer. But the closer we can get, the better it'll be. So let's let's not think too much and let's pick up the pace. Keep going. Okay. Farm. Now, get across this. If I can do that much, I'll be happy. Because I doubt I can... I doubt I can actually get much further than this. But even getting it all the way back here is kind of like impressive, right? I would say. Low gear. Now we are getting a bit stuck here. It's struggling. Well, there you go. Detached trailer. That's unfortunate. Let's get this. Uh, get our trailer back. We got so close. If I had just had like a minute more of fuel, I could have gotten it like. Not even a minute, like just a little bit more, just so I could get it out of that horrible, muddy mess of an area that that area is. Made me very happy to do that. But alas, the lack was not to be. But no worries, we'll do it now. Hello, missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. By kiss, I mean talk. Come on, man, that's good enough. Yeah, there you go. I don't mind low gearing it if I have to. Come on, climb us out of this mess. Okay, speed this shit up. This is all I needed, just a few more minutes. Go to the garage. You think I'll be able to get the other one? Actually, I don't think so. The drill will not be able to reach in time, will it? We need more time. It's crazy how freaking long one of these missions can take, huh?
there, there goes all the markers, but... Thing is, we're not done. No, we don't to just sell this trailer, no, no, no. We're gonna grab an oil rig drill that's available here. Second one that I've grabbed. And uh, who knows, there might be more. But probably not. That's all the drills that we need. There might, there might be more in stock, but they're not setting up anymore. Not for the moment, anyway. Oh, it takes up the entire thing, huh? Alright, well, there you go. We have the drill. It is a big boy. Yep, and look at that. Look at that nasty drill head. Triple headed freaking death dealing real what real head I was gonna say deer head uh, what the word you just it's not called it's not a deer head anyway we'll park this bad boy on the road outside catch it for a second now I'll be back a little bit of rest and recuperation. Okay. Ready to go. Got a professional checkup in the garage and repaired everything. Now it's time to get this grill delivered. It's been a long time coming. This place will finally be pumping oil. I don't think that's good enough. That's good enough. Now look at the mission. Lights and diesel out with the old. With the old sites now shut down, it's time to set up shiny new ones. Get equipment data so we can break ground and get to that oil. Then we have Husky forwarding and Steel River Town trip. Steel River is the first. Uh, wait, was that? Yeah, it is called. That was called Steel River. Oh, it was Black River. I don't know, whatever. This is Steel River Town trip. I don't know if this, this Steel River Township refers to the first area or is just a different name. I don't know. Whatever, it's still River Township, they need a lot, and I mean a lot, of lumber. For what reasons, they would not tell me. Just that they need it. They need it now. And honestly, whatever their reasons may be, that should not bother me. It doesn't. I don't really care what their reasons might be. All I care is that their money comes into my account in time. And it does. Such job will be done. Now the oil rig drill is uh, kind of very heavy. So a bit of a slog but we will get it done Getting there, close.
The only problem after this point is that the road isn't hard, it's just very long. It's a very long road to success, you know. Okay, blinding light, if anyone was sleeping at the farm, they will now wake up. You can't really sleep when you have this insanely bright light shining right at you. Can't go above fourth gear, bro. <laughs> Our load that we're carrying is too heavy. We, go, we had to go back to first gear. That's how bad it is. Cargo management. No, no, no. Ain't no way you can fit anything more in our trailer. It's it's a big trailer. It's a huge trailer. But I mean, it's a huge drill. It'll only be that one drill. That that's about it. That's all I can fit. We don't have space for anything more. I want to complete this mission before I end this episode. I know it might be a little crazy. Look at all those freaking monsters staring at me. You think I care about you monsters? Do you know what I'm carrying? Do you know how freaking heavy this thing is? I don't think you do. Otherwise you would not be stalking me. You would be, you would be peeing your pants. You would be running away in terror. It's just the thought that I'm lugging this massively heavy thing up these cliffs. You would not be sitting here challenging me. That much I can promise you. Okay, so we're gonna take the long way. Again. Now, oh, you know, you could say, oh, just take the shorter way, man. Why are you wasting so much time? It's not worth the risk. If it topples over, you're gonna waste a lot more time. Like, a whole lot more. Guess what I say? Not worth the risk. Second, though. Okay, you continue. Oh, my handbrake is on. It's gonna be a little bit. But we'll get there, we'll end it the next time we can... I mean, we might even probably need this trailer, right? There's still more deliveries that need to be done, we're not done here, right? Because there's still two more contracts, each with three missions, six, six more missions really there. And then there is also one uh, time trial thing that is still not done. That needs, needs to be done, you know. There is also that. So we, we probably will need this trailer now. The, the three, three of the missions we know are related to... What do you call them? Uh, flipping... Wood. Right? They're all wood delivery related missions so those probably do not need a trailer obviously but there is the super order and stuff like that which require items from all over the place to be delivered all over the place so for that I am unsure what we need honestly nobody nobody really knows what we need for that so might need this trailer but then if, I mean if we need it I'll just buy it you know Hopefully we are in that type of situation where you can just purchase the, a new one if you need it and then sell it back full price. Could have a little bit more money. Enough at least I hope to, you know, do what we need to do. Come on.
keep it moving. Class. Half out of fuel, okay, it's fine. We will definitely run out before we're able to get back. Not really worried about that though right now. Worried about getting this thing to where it needs to go. As you can see it is rather large. It requires careful and deliberate transport. You are, you are getting there. So it is taking a little bit longer, that much I mean I'll admit that. There you go though, we're done. Can keep moving. And we are We're there. All rig drill. Boom. Filled up everything. Abandoned ship quarry open. What do you mean? Nice work. The engineers are making a few adjustments to the rig, but we should be up and running in no time. No rewards. Warehouse now available in two places. Eleven thousand. Get fuel from here. Need it. He said quarry is now open. What do you mean quarry is now open? Oh, you know what? Probably. I mean, these are done, but like, cargo from ship, two oversized cargo. A businessman contacted us. His cargo is stuck on a ship that went aground. Big containers in a, in a narrow passage. Wouldn't it be much of a problem? Wouldn't be much of a problem for you now, would it? Although, if I were you, I would use help. Two oversized cargo to warehouse. This is the two flipped ones. Cement for the region. Cement. Or we get cement from the quarry. Hi, somehow lots of demand for cement cropped up in this region. Lots of cargo, lots of destinations. Not an easy task, but I'm sure you will ace it. Town storage, warehouse, lumber mill in Island Lake, log station in Dumond Island. And super order. Wow, look at you. Ready for work? We have a job for an ace like you. Lots of cargo to be taken to various destinations. It requires some complicated logistics, but it'll be quicker if you have a helper. They keep saying if you have a helper. Now, I don't have a helper. Deliver to logistics space. We need fuel, consumables, service spare parts, wooden planks. So we need stuff from all over the place brought over. The log station on Iron Lake needs fuel, consumables, and concrete blocks. Old house on Black River needs vehicle spare parts and fuel. Port needs metal beams and concrete slabs. We don't even get concrete slabs here. Or we do. Okay, we do. We just get it from there. Okay, well. If I were you, I would use help. Keep talking about help. Lots of demand for cement cropped up in this region. But this region, you mean everywhere. And it take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 cement. And the only place to get cement is this place. Am I, am I wrong about that? I'm not wrong about that, right? Smithville Dam has... Rills. It doesn't tell me. Oh. Yeah, I'm here. Doesn't really tell me if I get cement. Whatever, as you can see, there's only one truck and one trailer, so. Step one is to get this out of here. We don't need it. We can just take a normal thing, load it up. 
and you know start start taking or we'll start with cement deliver to the oh you know what no 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 we'll start with the cargo from ship it needs to be delivered here it's in Dumond Island question is if I go to Dumond Island oversized cargo okay it is it are it is these cargoes Will they fit on a normal thing? Is my question. Probably answer is no. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.